Have you ever seen anyone wearing hearing aids or sitting on a wheelchair? They are known as the assistive technology which includes assistive, adaptive and rehabilitative devices used by people with disabilities. In Australia, funding for people with disabilities, or AT users comes from the Commonwealth Government, state governments and other non-government sources. However, each funding scheme has its own eligibility guideline and sometimes ambiguous to understand. For example, suppose a man suffering from a leg hypotrophy who has to rely on a wheelchair to move around. He is a programmer and have to discuss with his colleagues using tables with different heights every day. However, his funding plan argues that the lifting function is irrelevant to his disabilities and only an ordinary wheelchair can be provided. In fact, for all the funding schemes, many at users have trouble explaining why they need this at and end up missing out. Now, we are introducing My Assistive Technology Outcomes Framework, an evidence-based online platform helping at users explain their needs to relevant funders, a website for numerous assistive technology users to tell their stories in a meaningful way. The framework consists of seven distinct tools, providing three types of users with an evidence-based report. The first six tools inquire the users of their life with assistive technology from six different aspects. My supports, my outcomes, my costs, my rights, my service delivery pathway and my customer experience. All of them serve as a part of the framework, constructing the evidence for the user's further negotiations. My summary tool is a preview gathering and extracting the information filled previously. Upon viewing the summary, the users are able to finalize it or go back to re-edit. On completing the tool, a report containing all the completed answers as the outcome from the framework will be generated. Users may choose to use the report as a strong articulation and meanwhile, it is also a decent reference for stakeholders to consult. We mainly target for three categories of users. Sensorially impaired users includes both vision and hearing impairment. Physically impaired users mostly refer to people with mobility issues. While cognitively impaired users are those have barriers to understanding, we optimize the design and the interaction of our web pages to conform to the AT users using habits which has been tested by real users and practitioners. Now let's take a look of how it works with a screen reader. Voiceover on Chrome, banner, heading level 6, My Assistive Technology Outcomes Framework, Login, Button, Navigate to My Context Page, Button, Navigate to My Supports Page, Button. A few moments later. Group, heading level 3, Aids for Vision and Hearing, Expand Aids for Vision and Hearing, Button. Select aids for vision and hearing, button. 2,000 years later. Button, back, button. Next, my outcomes, button. We hope you enjoy the ideas of our product. Welcome to visit www.he-outcomes.org for more information. And we're very pleased that Melbourne University uh, IT students have been able to deliver this for us in the form of an accessible web platform. I'm Natasha Layton from Swinburne University and I'm an occupational therapist and we need this um, as a human rights mechanism to make life better for Australians who use assistive technologies. I've just been through the platform which was great to see it. Um, having worked with people with disabilities for a long time I see that this tool is going to be really valuable. I love the interface of this tool because it's um, very simple and it doesn't seem to overwhelm with a lot of text and a lot of explanation. So it's got a lovely interface that's um, easy to use to capture the benefits of AT use and the challenges in obtaining the most ideal AT for your needs. Um, I think this tool is really useful for telling your story and, and making it quantifiable so you can tell people um, in power if they do control over funding. I found this tool fascinating today and um, you know I'm also a mom of uh, a daughter with a hearing loss and so I see the applicability of this tool in her life and really from the perspective of being a self-advocate for her needs um, and, and making the case for getting the right support um, that's required at the right point in time for the right purpose. Um, and I really see that this tool can be applied in both developing and developed contexts. So thank you very much.